So by now you're probably thinking, well, it's obvious. We know the problem. We know what's causing it. We know how to fix it. Why don't we? Well, here's uh, one glimpse into some of the reasons why this climate change problem hasn't been fully solved yet. So, I showed you at the beginning of this video series about uh, hoaxes and how to evaluate websites, put them through the crap test, and uh, just verify your sources. Well, people are doing that with climate change, and there are websites that are saying climate change is a hoax. So if you look up climate change hoax, you will find websites that say it is, and yet it's not. So that's another layer of complication. You've got the real science and then people who come in and say it's not real. Why? Here's some insight. Huh? Yeah. So science knows that burning fossil fuels creates a ton of CO2. And it predicts that more CO2 will heat up the Earth. Right. And we're seeing these predictions come true. And a ton of bad stuff's already happening to people. So why do we keep hearing that climate change is just normal? Or no big deal? Or that it's, like, not happening at all. Like, it's just some big hoax. Oh, you know what? I kind of can't talk about this right now. I'm going to... I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at both those claims head on. It's true that the climate has changed for natural reasons, mainly due to variations in the Earth's orbit. But usually it happens slowly over thousands of years, so animals and even early humans had a chance to evolve and adapt. But now we're seeing levels of CO2 pollution spike super fast over just a few decades. That's one of the biggest uh, differences between climate changing naturally versus what we're doing. Like she said, when it happens naturally, it happens over thousands or hundreds of thousands to millions of years. And living things can adapt over hundreds of thousands of years. But when it happens in decades, like from 1960 to the 2020, uh, living things can't adapt that quickly. Evolution doesn't happen fast. What? That's not normal. Nope. Can we adapt to such sudden changes? I don't know. I mean, how can billions of people pick up their cities and move to a safer spot? We're in deep trouble if this gets out of control. So yeah, the climate does change on its own, but what we're seeing today, this time, it's on us humans. Then there are some people that say climate change isn't happening at all, that it's some giant conspiracy. Yeah, I've heard that. Many of these people know how to use YouTube. But very few of them are actual climate scientists. In fact, many aren't scientists at all. Ask climate scientists, and 97% of them will tell you that it's real, and humans are causing it. So, who are you going to believe? Say 9 out of 10 dentists tell you you need a root canal. But then a professional Minecraft player tells you you don't. You wouldn't want to believe a dentist, but you would, right? Right. We hope so. Uh, and you also have to look at who's paying the scientists to make their claim. Uh, if, if the 3% that are saying, no, climate change isn't real, are working for the oil industry, the people who make money off of selling you fossil fuels, then you got to wonder, are they being 100% honest or are they just looking at the data they want to? So when we learn about claim evidence reasoning, you have to look at the evidence and see what it's really telling you. And if 97% agree, look at their evidence for yourself. Uh, evidence like we've been watching in this video series. And the 3% that don't agree, if you've read websites that say climate change isn't real, well, what's their evidence? And what are they leaving out? What are they not telling you? You do have to look at all of it to see, well, 
gosh, it makes sense. It's happening. You can see the effects. So why does it seem like we're not sure about climate change? Because a small number of people are screaming loudly, trying to make you believe that we just don't have enough information to be sure yet. Why would anyone want to do that? Well, some of them are too scared to face the truth. Others think caring about climate change is a political issue. But carbon dioxide isn't a Republican or a Democrat. It just traps heat. And then there are people who are afraid that admitting the problem is real will hurt their businesses. They spend huge amounts of money to spread lies designed to make us believe that the science isn't settled. But that's just dishonest. And dangerous. Exactly. We do have a problem, and the sooner we face it, the sooner we can do something about it. And there you have it.